Hello and welcome to Horrific Tales. In this show we celebrate the creation of independent authors and aspiring writers. Please like and subscribe and share these episodes so we can help our talented friends get as much exposure as possible. We would also appreciate it if you could support our artists by following them on their individual platforms and by purchasing their works. Details on how to do this are in the episode description. Today's Horrific Tale is a submission from Kira Adams. Kick back and enjoy some time with us as we present to you Alone. There used to be seven of us. Now I am alone. I moved us to this particular countryside because of its remoteness. I felt it was far enough away that they would never find us. We left the city when Finn saw their mark on the building downtown. Silas thought we should move to another city. Silas and I are twins, but we think completely opposite from each other. We're the oldest at 22. Then there's Finn. Finn is 18 and wants to make his own decisions about everything. Faye is 16 and dreaming of a normal life like she sees in magazines. Tasha and Tobias are 10 and best friends. Unlike me and Silas, they think and act almost like one person. Then there's Oana. She is the kindest of us all and the only one with dark hair. The rest of us are blonde. My name is Sema, and this is my story. We were at the park when we lost Oana. Not so high, I said. Oh, she's fine. Look at the other kids, Faye said. Oana continued to swing high. Tasha and Tobias were trying to play kickball. Finn and Silas were arguing on the correct way to throw a baseball. Do you think we'll ever be able to go back? Faye asked. I've told you before, I don't know. But don't get your hopes up. Tasha yelled, Sema, tell Tobias to stop kicking the ball that way. She pointed in the opposite direction of where she was. I can't run way over there and he knows it. Faye and I got up, walked over to the twins and they both started to explain at once. We got it worked out and walked back to the blanket and sat down. I looked at Oana, but only her swing was there, not her. I glanced around then and stood. She wasn't anywhere I could see. Finn! Silas! Look for Oana! She's gone! They've taken her! Once they take you, you're gone forever. You don't come back. We gathered our things but didn't go straight back home. We wanted to avoid having anyone follow us. Packing was fast and furious. It was the same when we left the city. Now back to a big city we'll go again. Silas chose the last city. I chose the small town. Finn is now 18 and he can choose. Finn says we should go west where all the people are blonde and we will blend in. All the younger kids want to go back to school. So Los Angeles it is. I'm against school. It's when we're separated they come. We keep in contact with clicks of our walkie talkies. We all have them. So if you're away at school or some other place we all know each other's safe. Phones aren't safe. They can be traced. The twins have been at Valley Elementary for five months. When they didn't check in on Wednesday with the normal clicks at recess, Silas and I rushed to the school. The secretary looked confused. You already picked them up. We did? Silas asked. Uh, well, yes, the, the both of you did, about an hour ago. As we left the building, I began to hysterically scream. Silas held me until I could walk. Then we raced home to warn the others. Silas and I walked into the house and immediately knew. Faye! Finn! Please be here! I screamed. Silas ran from room to room. He came back downstairs. They're both gone! Silas sobbed. I stood unmoving, unseeing, as if I had turned to stone. Four gone in one day. They must have gotten the address from the old school. Pack! Move, Sema! Now! Silas demanded. Twenty minutes later, we changed vehicles and were heading northeast. We had been driving for twenty-three hours, only stopping for gas when Silas pulled over to the side of the road. We have to separate. If we are to have a chance on this planet, I don't know what happened to the other families, but we are the only two of ours left. No, Silas, I'll never see you again. But he was right. 
we had to be alone to have a chance of living. There used to be seven of us. Now, I'm alone. Well, we hope that you enjoyed our latest horrific tale. If you want to keep up to date with future episodes, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. Please also take a moment to support our contributing artists who very kindly lend their talents to this show. Check out the links in the description how you can do this. Until next time my friends, keep it creepy, keep it horrific.